Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I want to show you just how easy it is to use the air fryer to cook your frozen Greg steak bakes. If you love Greg's and you love the steak bakes that you get from Greg's, then note that they're so easy and delicious, cooked from frozen using the air fryer. Before we share this amazing recipe with you, we recommend that you head over to RecipeThis.com. At the top of the site is a search bar and you can search for any of our recipes that are featured on our YouTube channel. So this makes it really easy. So if you see one of our videos and you want step-by-step -step photos or a free printable recipe card, then that search box is amazing. And then if you scroll down below that, you'll be able to see our categories. And what you can do is, let's say you've got an Instant Pot, you can click on the link just for Instant Pot recipes. The same for the air fryer, slow cooker, soup maker, thermomix, or whichever recipe you've got. And best of all, I highly recommend you enter your email address and sign up for our weekly newsletter. In our weekly newsletter, we feature all our latest recipes, as long as tips, tricks, popular previous recipes and so much more and we just really really would like it if you join and then when you do join you can reply to any of our newsletters and you'll get direct email response from me or my husband Dominic and it's just brilliant you can also look through the archives of our entire site so let's say you're looking for Christmas ideas, then you can look at December of the previous year or the year before that for some great ideas, search through our categories and do so much more. We've got 1400 plus kitchen gadget recipes on Recipe This and I just cannot wait to see you over there and welcome you to the Recipe This family. So what you'll need is you'll need obviously your frozen Greg steak bakes, Obviously, you'll need your frozen Greg steak bakes. A little bit of foil to line the air fryer with. This just stops it from getting as messy. And then it's totally up to you whether you use some extra virgin olive oil spray like we're using, or you can use some egg wash. It's totally personal choice. I'm going to do it with spray because my spray is out and then I don't have to crack an egg. But that's probably just a bit of laziness. So, open up your Greg steak bakes. Right, I'm finally in. Oh, I was upside down. So you should have two steak bakes like this in your container. So then first you want to line the air fryer with foil. You don't need a lot. Just one strip. Get in like that. Make sure it's pressed down. And now you've got your layer of foil. So now Add your two steak bakes. And by the way, this will work with many frozen different pastries in the air fryer. You can just follow this simple system and then just spray them. If it's not spraying very well, then you can just spread it out a bit with your fingers. And then once you've done that, it's ready to be air fried. So place your Greg steak bakes in and you're looking for a temperature of 160 Celsius, that's 320 Fahrenheit, and a cook time of six minutes just to get them going and to help with the defrosting process. And then press start. And we've beeped. So let's check on them, shall we? So now they've had their initial time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give them an extra bit of spray. And then once you've done that, straight back on again. And what we've done so far, we've mainly been defrosting them. So now you're looking for a cook time of eight minutes. So this will mean altogether they've done 14 minutes. And then a temperature of 200 Celsius, that's 400 Fahrenheit. And then press start. And we've beeped. So let's check on our steak bakes, shall we? And wow, those steak bakes look absolutely amazing. 
wow look at them steak bakes oh, i just can't wait to tuck in and the best thing about doing them on the foil which i absolutely love is the fact that you can easily remove them from the air fryer by the foil if you just watch that just grab them like that and then they're just absolutely perfect for moving to your serving dishes or you can eat them directly from the foil and it's just an easy way where you don't have to worry about any washing up. Right, so if you do the steak bakes or any other pastries from frozen in the air fryer and they're not quite done, then there's an easy way to rectify it. You just want to grab them by the foil, turn them over so that the other side round and then put them back in and then this can help them cook on the other side. And then of course, if you want an extra crisp on that side as well, then you can add a little bit extra olive oil. It's totally up to you, but it's just a quick way to flip them if the cook time's just a little bit off. And then turn the air fryer back on. Set the temperature to 180 Celsius, that's 360 Fahrenheit. And then bring the cook time down to about four minutes and then press start. And we've beeped. And wow, that's so much better. So if your pastry is a little bit raw underneath, then note that you can just do this. And then you can turn them over again and nobody knows that you added a couple of extra minutes underneath. And as you can see, they're absolutely perfect. So let's give them a minute or two to cool and then we can tuck in. Wow, and the Greg steak bakes have had a nice chance to cool now so I can see what they taste like. Mm. really good they needed that couple of minutes to cool down because honestly look at all that steam that's how a good job the air fryer does for cooking them from frozen and if you have a look it's got the lovely meat it's really really hot in the middle oh, it tastes absolutely amazing so head over to rest for this search greg's and you can see all our greg's recipes there as well as our Too Good To Go bag and a lot of the other things we've done with Greg's stuff. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the mill in the kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic With Gadgets. Simply search Magic With Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there. 